Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live here with actor, producer, amateur renaissance man Christian Potenza. Right on. You have quite a few projects on the go right now. Can you tell me about your animated series? Yeah, well, there's a few of them. Um, <clears throat> one of them I'm known really well for is uh, I play the voice of Jude Lazowski on 16, and that's the one that sort of kicked it off. And then there was Sidekick, where I played Trevor Troublemeyer. And then years later, <coughs> there's a, an animated series called Total Drama Island is the first one. Total Drama Action is the second one. Total Drama uh, Total Drama World Tour is third season. And now fourth season is uh, coming out. Total Drama Revenge of the Island. And I play Chris McLean, the host. And how is that going? Do you enjoy it? It's, uh, I can't believe how big, how big this show has gotten. Uh, just in the States alone, every Monday night, it is 5.7 million viewers, give or take. And that's just the United States. Uh, we have a huge fan base in Australia, Argentina, Italy. Italy is huge right now. And it keeps changing because some, some countries are just getting it now. Uh, while other ones are just catching up. So the fever is, total drama fever is now enveloping the world. And is there a lot of drama in total drama? You know what it is? It is the world's first animated reality show where people, contestants, actually, characters on the show, actually get voted off. So uh, we're really, it's a little little cartoon from Canada that has just taken over. and. Uh, I am one of the only fortunate ones, besides myself and a uh, character called Chef on the show, played by Clay Bennett. Um, we're the only ones that are in every episode. We never get wow. voted off. Yeah. So Good. it's a sweet gig. It's a very sweet gig. Good. And you were also in the film Real Love. Yeah. How was that? Um, I auditioned for a movie called Real Love. Uh, well, actually, it was called Queen of Sheba about two years ago and um, they liked me but then the the project got put on hold and couldn't figure out why and uh, then it was well Leanne Rimes was to play the lead it's, uh, it's gonna be on CMT and uh, so uh, CMT put together this little movie of the week and they wanted Leanne Rimes to play the lead it's a very it's a little quirky romantic um, love comedy and it takes place in uh, Alabama and um, well what happened was she got this other gig so they postponed the gig so while they're waiting they're like well who can we get to play the father because the father's a very integral part and uh, so they somebody suggested Burt Reynolds and Burt Reynolds got back very fast and said yeah it's great love it uh, he signed on so I was still up for the part of the son and they came back and they started recasting and I was like oh no oh no and then I heard well Burt Reynolds is going to be the father and Leanne Rimes is going to be the sister I didn't know this before they started uh, rounds and rounds and rounds of auditions and I ended up grabbing uh, that part that I originally auditioned for like a year before so pretty awesome very nice and can you tell me about how you got involved in Sean Cisterna's uh, project, Moon Point? Yeah, I worked with him years before on a film called uh, My Brother's Keeper uh, with Sean Ashmore and, uh, and Aaron Ashmore, actually. They were both in it because they played twins, right? Uh, but it was actually one of them who did all the principal photography and moved his hair over every now and then, and uh, the other one played just background. You know, or, or, or the, the um, you know, just played the back, so they had a nice two-hander. Um, so I met Sean there. He was a producer on that uh, with Summer Pictures. And um, years later, he, he calls me up, and he, he's like, Hey, it's Sean. I uh, don't know if you remember me. But anyways, I got this really cool script. I'm going to be shooting in about two weeks. Um, I would love if you did this little cameo. So... He sends me the script, I read it, and I was like, this is great, but I can't do anything. I can't be in it because it's non-union. So uh, he goes, well, okay, that's too bad. I go, no, no, hold on, hold on a sec. 
I'll help you out because I knew a few people. I'd help them out with casting because I had done that uh, many, many times before, and and you know just sort of dabble in it as a uh, associate producer. But then we had a meeting, and I said, why don't we just take it over to Actra and see my friend Tasso Lacus, who is the head of tip program there, and so. This was on a Friday. We go over to Actra. We are shooting a week from that Friday we went in. We go in and we say, here, Tasso, this is a great script. Uh, the only thing is it's non-union and we have X amount of dollars to make this, which isn't much. We didn't have much. So Tasso looked at it and these, uh, we worked all over the weekend to get our paperwork, uh, our paperwork in, in, you know, all our T's crossed, our I's dotted, and then on Monday when we went in at 11 o'clock, by 11:30 we are out on the street and we have a fully unionized, ready to go script, and we have we go to camera on Friday. So I call up Art Hindle, Linda Cash, Jane Eastwood, uh, Jessica Holmes. Tony Napo, uh, and, and the list the list goes on. It was like I just called up all my friends, and I said, "Hey, would you would you do a cameo in this in this film? Because we don't have time for casting or anything. We just said, would you do that? And the union just everyone just sort of came on board. Uh, it, it just it was unbelievable. Like I'm talking big names in in Canadian film and television that came a long way just to do a cameo in this thing. And I said, you, the best part was is that they all agreed to do it and uh, so even if they had one or two lines I said do whatever you want like you know so like somebody like Jessica Holmes a very funny girl uh, she had two lines she ended up having about three minutes of solid screen time in our film because she just went and went so then we cast our first three uh, our, our, our young leads there's four of them and uh, young 20 something year olds and uh, they're set in a backdrop. It's a beautiful little road trip film, and 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 behind them is all these crazy, whacked out, big time Canadian actors in our little low budget film. That's awesome. So it's about a boy who is finding his childhood crush. Yep. Yeah. His name is Daryl Straska, and he fell in love in grade two or three with this girl named uh, Sarah Cherry. She went away to become a childhood star. She ends up shooting a movie close to him. And he says, that's it. I'm going to go see her again because he was, I'm not going to give too much away. Mm -hmm. But his only way of getting there is by, by his friend Femur's electric wheelchair. So he gets pulled in a wagon. So they go in a, in a, on a road trip, and that's where they run into the crazy cast of characters. Great. And do you have any other upcoming projects that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, um, I'm moving back from Oakville. Uh, sorry, from Oakville back to Toronto, and I just uh, I'm opening up a boutique studio, a boutique photography studio, uh, with uh, capabilities of full-on makeup, hair, like special effect makeup, anything you want from high-end fashion to headshots, um, and that's over on Carlaw. It's called Shoot the Dog um, uh, Studios, uh, and it's starting to take shape right now. I got a bunch of photographers that are, are coming on board and uh, going to bring in some pretty cool clients a pretty cool place to hang out great and will there be a website for that so we can check yeah, it out absolutely absolutely it's uh, like I'm literally moving in right now I gotta yeah. go there right now but uh, also uh, check out my YouTube channel the animation nation army um, check that one out because after every episode of total drama uh, I will be having an after show on my YouTube channel and it'll be broadcast live on my Facebook channel and that starts in January Perfect. Great. Well, best of luck, and thank you so much, Christian. Up top, Katie. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> I'm Katie Elman reporting for TTN HD Production Live. <laughs>